Hi, this is Laura Bray with Sulky, and today I wanted to show you how to teach your about 9 to 12 year old how to hand embroider. I believe that the higher quality products that you give your children when they're learning a new craft, the more likely they'll be to have success at it and want to continue in that exploring that craft. So today I wanted to go over your list of things that you would need to get your child ready to start their life in embroidery. The first thing you need is an embroidery hoop. Typically a six inch hoop is a great size hoop. You can do most, most designs, patterns, fit in a six inch and even the smaller ones fit. If you have a really large pattern, you can always move the hoop around your fabric and still have success. So six inches is a great size. These are German wood hoops that you can find on the sulky.com website. These are a little more expensive, but they're much higher quality. And the reason that you want to use a higher quality hoop is because it will hold the fabric tighter and you'll have a lot more success with the finished look of your embroidery. The tighter you can pull your fabric in your hoop, the less likely you'll have wrinkles and puckers and a disappointing outcome in your embroidery project. We also at Sulky recommend that you use the Cotton Petite's 12 weight thread to embroider. It comes in so many fantastic colors. And part of the fun when you're teaching your child how to embroider is to um, pick out the colors. Kids love color and I think you'd be surprised. Sometimes they'll come up with a combination that you really aren't expecting but um, they may inspire you to get a little more adventurous with your color choices as well. You'll also need some fabric to embroider on. For six inch hoop, I usually recommend that you cut a piece of fabric about in an eight by eight inch square. That gives it enough room around the hoop so that you don't risk it slipping out, but there's not so much fabric that you're gonna get tangled up when you're doing the stitching. I'm using just a cotton, a blue cotton for my project. You could use anything from old jeans, old blue jeans, old bed sheets, linen, cotton. Again, talk to your child as they're planning out their project and see what they would like to stitch on. This basic cotton linen weight is nice. If you get something that's too thick, like a denim, a child may have a little bit of a hard time pushing the needle through. However, if you do something too light, all the stitching on the back, which sometimes can be a little messy, can show through and ruin the project too. So something mid-weight, like a linen or a heavier cotton is a great choice. You also need an embroidery needle. I typically recommend using anywhere between a size three and nine needle. Needle sizes, as they get lower in number, the eye of the needle gets larger. You want something that isn't going to leave a huge hole in your fabric when you're pulling it through, but at the same time, you want to be able to thread your needle, and little guys sometimes are challenged with this. It's great for hand-eye coordination, but we don't want to set them up to fail by having them thread a, a needle with an eye that's really tiny that not even the best of us can get threaded. Finally, you need to have a pattern and a way to get that pattern on your fabric. I've created a cute lion pattern to show you how to do this project with your child. It has a lot of open space that they can either just follow the simple lines or they can fill in. Those design decisions will be up to them. 
I also recommend taking your child's creativity to the next level by letting them draw their own pattern. I used to do that with my daughter and we have a couple pillows from when she was four years old with her unique little drawings and they're just super special heirloom items for us now. Once your child draws the pattern or you print my pattern, you have a couple ways to transfer it. And today, I think we'll use the Sulky Stick and Stitch product. This is great because you will be able to print it right on your printer. You can um, then load one of these sheets with the fabric side, there's like a shiny side and a fabric side, is the side that you're gonna print on. Just print out my pattern. As you can see, I gave you two choices in size. You may wanna start with a smaller pattern so that your child doesn't lose interest too early on if you they have too much space to fill. They may not want to spend a few days working on a pattern. So you can then just cut this out, peel off the sticky backing, and put it onto your fabric. Thanks for joining me and gathering your supplies for your child, and I can't wait to show you the next step in our Leah the Lion embroidery pattern. Oh, 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 oh,